Basically, you guys are canceled. It's an eviction notice. Maybe you should start a business. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Whoa, hey, hey, what's going on in here right now? Oh, well, Aaron told the guys that uh, that they could move in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a massage because I really need one right now. Everyone needs to be out of here. The apartment needs to be spotless and clean. What would be best is if we all just got some sleep, we're very tired, and then tomorrow we'll go over the business plan. What's a futon that doesn't fold out? It's not a futon, it's a, it's a not ton. <laughs> Push on, like, from back yeah. here. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it's supposed to be like a... Um, yeah, it's better because it, we are not going to fold out. Dude, the to the Japanese sides. are crazy. No, no, okay, this, this is a bachelor pad. You know, I've got a good chance of getting laid here. That's what this place needs is like a, a nice Please. Super Listen. Nintendo. On Don't here. be sad. We are your friends. What we're talking about, we got this idea, because you know, we did the we did the radio show, so now we're gonna do a dating service. And in order to do that, we have to have like an operation central. We can do it while she's away at work. And like, you'll be at work, you won't even know we're here. I think you can maybe do something here for a short period of time. And I mean a short period of time, because if you're here for very long, um, you know, I could lose, I could lose my, my monthly allowance. Like, Jessica could just stop paying me my monthly allowance. And she may make me sleep out in the lounge again. So, Aaron and Jessica, have they been together for a while, or? Well, uh, about a year. He's got uh, his uh, testicles in her purse. Uh, I think what happened was Aaron was driving along uh, the road at night looking for a hotel. And he ran out of gas and stopped. And uh, this witch came out of the woods, Jessica. And I had just gotten a um, 44 Magnum um, high velocity that, cartridge. Okay. Yeah. yeah, hollow point bullets. Um, and I, so I went to the shooting range, and Aaron just happened to be there. And <laughs> she came out of the woods and she stabbed him in the heart with. Um, with a big dagger. It turns out that I ended up shooting him in the foot. And so you then shot I. Him in the foot. Yeah, yeah. Hollow point so. bullets, they shatter everything when they go into. And she cut out his heart and she cooked it in a stew. And then she ate it. It was, uh, that was fine. I mean, she brought, uh, you know, she brought burritos. Yeah. So how, does, how does one there shoot are. someone in the foot? Um, I, it just happened. <laughs> Weirdest thing. And now that the the technology has come along, she's been able to t turn our friend Aaron into a robot. Are you, are you just joking? No, I joking? really don't know how they met, oh. but I, I'm guessing it was some sort of Scientology <laughs> okay. thing. I, I was talking to Chris earlier, and he was saying that that Aaron w actually cooks most of the time. and It depends on what you define as cooking. Because yeah. some of the things that I he mean, makes, it's pretty good stuff. It's just not edible. It's not. Uh, it's not so, that good, but I mean, it's, no, it's you know, I mean, if you can chew it, it's food, right? Is that? Yeah, I mean, if it goes down and it... it's not, I wouldn't consider that food, but that's just me. That's my opinion. It's personal, mm. personal opinion. Yeah, well, see, if my food wasn't used for like, um, you know, for okay. our work all you, the time. Aaron. Sorry. Yeah. Was that scotch tape? <laughs> it's not scotch tape. It, it, it hasn't happened before. Brand. It was, I broke it off. What do you think about Jessica's art? It's kind of creepy. Well, the breadhead thing, I thought that was pretty good. Breadhead, yeah. Yeah. Can you stay over here for the, the asides? We, we'd want the lighting. Oh, okay. I see what you did. Okay. Why are you... Uh, yeah, see... Yeah. Uh, I guess final question. Uh, why am I standing on a quilt? Um, well, your shoes. I don't know where they've been. They're miscellaneous. I mean, at some people's houses, you take off your shoes at the door, mm -hmm. and here yeah. you said you can wear the shoes, but the quilt has no, to be done. This is a sterile environment. We want to make sure it's, you know, it's good for any, you know, kids maybe or something one day. You know, <laughs> any little Aaron and Jessica's running around. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be nice if Aaron wasn't impotent. So, that'd be really, like, that's a good dream to, it's a good dream that we could have someday. 
he's just he's still sensitive about it. I don't think he really cares. Though. He's sensitive about being impotent. I I can't imagine. Why. I know, right? I was like, I should be the one that's upset. But see, that was a bit of sarcasm right there. You know, I've only been impotent for the last year. If you know, I just thought. It had some. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs>